Hello, this video is to, um, is to talk about uh, something I get asked about uh, quite a bit and uh, that's kind of my, my picking style. Um, I put up a lot of videos on YouTube and um, people sometimes ask me um, if I'm using a pick or not in my videos and usually uh, the answer to that is no. Um, unless I'm doing like heavy metal riffs or something, I usually don't use a pick. Uh, what I usually do, I grow my fingernails out, and uh, I, I kind of learned uh, heavy metal when I was first starting out, and then I moved on to a kind of, I bought a classical guitar, and I started um, doing a lot of uh, stuff on classical, and trying to mimic classical guitars. I never really had any formal training or anything, so I just kind of tried to mimic what I heard, and usually the way I did that was uh, to do some uh, sort of pick, finger picking exercises. One of the first songs I ever learned uh, was a song by Simon and Garfunkel um, for picking, finger picking. Um, and it had the, you know, the sort of... And a lot of people would call that Travis picking because it has that thumb thing that, that keeps going. That starts in the bottom and then goes high, bottom, high, bottom, high. And then you kind of alternate with, with these fingers in between. So you kind of have a you have what I call a Pima pick, picking. It's a it's a Pollux and middle Pollux index, Pollux middle Pollux index. So then your Pollux is your thumb for those those of you who know your Latin. But this kind of finger picking exercise. And it's usually helpful uh, if you if you get this down just sit there and do it when you pick up a, a guitar just just kind of noodle around it doesn't matter what chords you're hitting down here just focus on this and getting this part right and it really helps to assign it helps to assign a finger to each string uh, so that you have a situation where your 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 thumb is taking care of your bottom stuff um, and your these three fingers are active uh, your your pinky is very rarely, if ever, used in in guitar. At least in classical guitar, they just kind of ignore this finger. Um, I have a friend who uses that finger a lot. His name's Colby, and he actually does incorporate that a lot. He's pretty uh, dexterous with all of his fingers. But um, I, I usually just use the classical style and these four fingers, um, and it helps to really assign again each finger to its own string. So if you're if for instance you're doing a D chord shape. Uh, and you and you are down here on these strings. Of course, you want to reassign your fingers so that they're positioned over the uh, over the last four strings on your guitar. This is another picking exercise I picked up early on, uh, being able to go up. First of all, that that that's helpful because it it emulates a sweep um, or a strum. So if you're ever doing a instead of strumming the guitar like this. You know, try try using your fingers and and just doing this. And it, and at first you're gonna be you're gonna be pretty sloppy with it and pretty messy, but eventually you'll get to the point where you can keep them pretty even, um, keep all the notes pretty evenly spaced. So. And then try going the other way. And that turnaround is, is a really hard thing to do at first. Um, it took me quite a while. And, and, then, and then, of course, once you get that, you know, you can do the thumb and then come back up. So you're doing the upstroke. And then do it both ways. And this is a cool kind of thing if you're doing, you know, kind of pseudo flamenco kind of style. And again, you know, usually. I never took lessons, so I don't know real flamenco, but a lot of the times, you know, I'll sit there and mess around with it. And see, all of that is, is just um, kind of combinations of those little, those little uh, picking patterns that I've shown in conjunction with um, a pseudo plectrum. And what I usually do, and what I mean by that is, um, what I usually do if, if I'm doing a fast run and I 
and I, I, I never really got good at, as classical players at using these two fingers to do the... So uh, some classical players, can, they can pick those really fast. And I'm not very good at that. So what I've, what I've always kind of done to make up for that shortcoming is um, if I'm in the middle of a, of a picking run or something, or I'm doing something, what I do is I place, I use my, uh, I use my fingernail on my index finger, and right now it's broken, so it's not really optimal. You can see there, it's not, it's not in good shape. I've been moving, and my, none of my fingernails are actually in good shape. This thumbnail is usually quite a bit longer. It's usually way out here, so right now I'm a little bit hampered in what I can do, but. Um, but back to what I was saying, uh, a lot of times what I'll do if I'm in the middle of uh, doing a sort of picking pattern and I want to do it. So run like that, then I kind of tuck my uh, thumb in to my index finger and hold it as if I was holding a pick, but I use my nail on my index finger to, uh, to do those faster runs. And then, and then, you know, if I'm doing something else, I, I can uh, switch between the two. I can see it helps. I can do the upstroke finger picking, the standard finger picking, classical style, or I can tuck in and, and do this sort of thing, and I can use those two styles um, in conjunction with one another to kind of create sort of a free, a free flowing um, finger picking style. It's really not like um, your, your standard, you know, Travis picking, which, you know, Travis pickers, you'll, you'll notice usually they use at least a thumb pick, if not a thumb pick and an index finger pick. Um, I've, I never got really good at using finger picks at all because of the, I went through that classical stage and, and that just really trained my hand um, to be in this position uh, and on thumb picking, you kind of have to be like this with your thumb down to the side. And, you know, although I can kind of fake that again, I'm not really good at it. So I just, I stick to what I know and I uh, kind of do the classical thing. But another good finger picking exercise um, uh, involves the first three fingers, your pollex, index, and middle finger. And you can do those um, straight up. And this is used in a lot of, uh, a lot of banjo rolls. And there's a lot of people who are just really excellent at that, even moving on the strings. And all I'm doing there is just going the first three, first three strings up. And then move up with your, with your thumb, next string. And then when you're, go when you're comfortable going up and you're doing it quickly, then you can start coming back up. So you can go. So that, that's something you can work on. Um, another thing, uh, I was I mentioned Leonard Cohen. Uh, a lot of Leonard Cohen songs are just, are really straightforward um, as far as the chords, but he uses a picking pattern that's like. And, and a lot of flamenco and classical Spanish guitar uses uses the same picking pattern. And it's a it's a cool one to know because you and if, if that finger was if that fingernail was actually longer, that would make this smoother. That's the problem with finger picking. From one, if you have weak fingernails like I do, from you know, from one day to the next, you may be better than you were yesterday because you broke a nail, <laughs> or, or you know, you grew your nail longer. So, but used in conjunction, all these sort of um, these little patterns um, make it easier for you to um, sort of you know make music in a in a finger style. Um, 
and and if you can and if you can also switch between the two between you know doing this style and then dropping into this sort of thing like I was talking about it gives you a little more flexibility because you can do all the bluesy Yeah, so switch from you know finger picking style to something that's more of a, a plectrum style uh, without without the hybrid finger picking um, kind of limitation because when you pick hybrid you know you're, you're holding a plectrum you've only got these two fingers then uh, to to drop in to your finger style so you, you're really kind of limited in what you can do as far as you know switching from a plectrum to doing stuff like this you know kind of midstream so and I'm not I'm not great at this I'm not saying I'm the greatest finger picker alive by any means I'm not um, have a lot to learn uh, but these are some things that beginners you know I, I was a beginner once and a lot of people again asked me about this so I thought I'd make a quick video and sort of uh, demonstrate some of these things that you can do to improve uh, your finger picking so have fun with it good luck <laughs> 